Let's take a look at the main controls of exploring and driving trains. This is the main interaction method in Train Sim World. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. A blue marker indicates that an objective requires action. Walk over to the highlighted marker to complete this objective. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Head over to the indicated train doors to learn more about interaction. Some doors need to be manually opened to gain access. Climb aboard the train. Head over and sit in the indicated seat. You can pause the game at any point and review the previous and current tasks. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. It's now time to head up to the front. Follow the indicated markers as before. Open the door and head into the driver's cab. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is a speed display. The white needle shows current speed and the red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is a direction display. An arrow will indicate forwards, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake pressure dials. They will indicate how much pressure is in various brake systems and show when the pressure is changing. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Continue your journey in Train Sim World. Take part in training designed to teach you how to operate on the railway. Engage in scenarios that will present challenges and enhance your skills. Dive into a full timetable on the railway. Whether you're driving, riding or watching trains, you have the freedom of the line. Each route has a set of jobs such as posters to place or fences to fix. Find them all and complete the job list for each route. 
Welcome to Train Sim World. Let's take a look at the main controls of exploring and driving trains. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by... Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. A blue marker indicates that an objective requires action. Walk over to the highlighted marker to complete this objective. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Head over to the indicated train doors to learn more about interaction. Some doors need to be manually opened to gain access. Climb aboard. Head over and sit in the indicated seat. You can pause the game at any point and review the previous and current tasks. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. It's now time to head up to the front. Follow the indicated markers as before. Open the door and head into the drive. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is a speed display. The white needle shows current speed and the red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is a direction display. An arrow will indicate forwards, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake pressure dials. They will indicate how much pressure is in various brake systems and show when the pressure is changing. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience.
This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Continue your journey in Train Sim World. Take part in training designed to teach you how to operate on the railway. Engage in scenarios that will present challenges and enhance your skills. Dive into a full timetable on the railway. Whether you're driving, riding or watching trains, you have the freedom of the line. Each route has a set of jobs such as posters to place or fences to fix. Find them all and complete the job list for each route. Welcome to Train Sim World. This is Slough on the Great Western Main Line. Follow the markers over the footbridge to catch a train. Some doors are automatic and open when you walk towards them.
Great Western Express offers the ability to ride and drive both express and commuter trains along the Great Western Main Line between London Paddington and Reading. You are currently riding an intercity 125 high speed train formed of two Class 43 diesel locomotives hauling a selection of Mark III carriages. This train has a top speed of 125 miles per hour. TrainSim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now by exploring the exterior of this train. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the camera menu. You've only travelled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Great Western Express. You can marvel at the iconic London Paddington Terminus with its magnificent arched roof. Explore Old Oak Common Depot where many trains are serviced. Deliver freight to Hayes and West Drayton processing plants or haul containers in and out of London. Arrive into a fully modernised Reading station or visit the nearby Reading Depot where the Class 166 trains are maintained. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, safety signage and locate the missing dispatch buttons. Choose from freight, passenger or high-speed trains and start your journey today.
for class 166 in Great Western Railway livery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit, start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the unit. Enter through the cab door in front of you. driver's chair. First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. That alarm is the AWS self-test system. You will need to acknowledge this before continuing. Press the AWS reset. You need to charge the brakes before we start the engine to ensure the train does not roll back. Set the throttle brake to full service. ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Now, set the headlights today. again, set the handle into forward. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle brake handle into notch one.
showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake hand. You're performing great and showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle to braking one to apply a small amount of braking. This is the class 166 in Great Western Railway livery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit, start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the unit. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Take a look around, and when you're ready... First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. That alarm is the AWS self-test system. You will need to acknowledge this before we... You need to charge the brakes before we start the engine to ensure the train does not roll back. Set the throttle brake to full service. When you're ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Now, set the headlights to day. Put the train in forwards so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle brake handle into notch one.
showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle. You're performing great and showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle to braking one to apply a small amount of braking force and let the brakes do the rest. This is the Class 166 in Great Western Railway, Nivery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit, start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the unit. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Take a look around, and when... First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. That alarm is the AWS self-test system. You, you need to charge the brakes before we start the engine to ensure the train does not roll back. Set the throttle brake to full service. When you're ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Now, set the headlights today. train in forwards so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle brake handle.
showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle. You're performing great and showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle to braking one to apply a small amount of braking force and let the brakes do the rest. I've shown you here, you will do just fine. Stopping at stations correctly and on time is a vital part of keeping the railway running smoothly. Let's take a look at bringing a Class 166 service to a stop at Twyford. To start, bring the train up to speed, set the reverser to forward and apply a small amount of power using the combined throttle brake to get us off the line. Nice work so far. Once we've reached 40 miles per hour, we can start the process of slowing her back down and bringing her to a stop. Set the combined throttle brake to 5 and increase your speed up to 40 miles an hour. aim to stop at the S board at Twyford. Apply some brakes now and follow a gentle, smooth braking line right down to a stop.
stopping at stations correctly and on time is a vital part of keeping the railway running smoothly. Let's take a look at bringing a Class 166 service to a stop at Twyford. To start, bring the train up to speed, set the reverser to forward and apply a small amount of power using the combined throttle brake to get us off the line. Nice work so far. Once we've reached 40 miles per hour, we can start the process of slowing her back down and bringing her to a stop. Set the combined throttle brake to 5 and increase your speed up to 40 miles an hour. Once we're aim to stop at the S board at Twyford, apply some brakes now and follow a gentle, smooth braking line right down to a stop.
passengers are ready to start boarding. Release the left doors using the button on the left of the desk. Wait for the boarding, then close the doors. To release the right doors, the button is on the right side of the desk, but you won't need that for now. Please remain behind the yellow line at all times. Trains pass through this station at high speed and can cause turbulence. That was great. Driver judgment plays a big part towards a nice clean stop at stations, but you'll learn that after some practice of your own.